Hello, you are welcome to our lesson of chemistry practical. Today we have a lesson of chemistry, so you are welcome to our lesson. I think I will thank you for your time for watching this video. So I think today we will learn more about the chemistry practical. So today we have a chemistry practical. We are going to talk about the redox titration. Redox titration. Redox titration. We look about the reduction reaction and the oxidation reaction. That is redox reaction. And then we are going to perform, to perform titration or redox titration. That means the reactions through titration evolves the reduction, reduction and the oxidation. So for today, our uh, according to our lesson for today. I will show the chemical reactions only, how the procedure performed it, and how you can translate from procedure to chemical reaction. So you are welcome to our lesson for today. My name is Mr. Aguru. I'm an expert in chemistry, physics, even biology. So for the issue of practicals, we can be together through this channel. So redox reaction for today we are going to look permanganometric titration. That's the, when you say permanganometric that's it evolve permanganate and the other reactant. That's why permanganometric titration. Permanganometric titration. This evolve potassium permanganate and the other reactant. So for today, I will show you potassium permanganate with the oxal with the oxalate or oxalic acid, and I will show the chemical reaction with the potassium permanganate and the sodium thiosulfate and the liberated iodine from potassium iodide. So how to find the chemical reaction, how to balance from a half reduction, a half oxidation up to the overall reduction, overall equation for the reaction and you receive the molar ratio between permanganate and the sodium thiosulfate or thiosulfate and the potassium or manganese with the oxalate. Let's we start with the reaction of permanganate and the oxalate or oxalic acid. The first we have permanganate. First the reaction. Reaction. This reaction. Let's say you have been provided you have potassium a manganate. You have this one. This is oxalic acid. You have also sulfuric 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 acid these are reactants it means you have sulfuric acid you have oxalic acid you have potassium permanganate this k this h there is no need that is I can say this is a compound but in the reaction we are going to use manganese here we are going to use oxalate and here we are going to use Acid as a acidic media. So, how this procedure performed during the experiment? There is procedure. The first, it means potassium permanganate in your 
Natasha Pamana Pamanga that will be put will be poured in a test in a bullet. Number two, auxiliary will be piped. Means this one in flask. In flask. Auxiliary will be type will be piped. You pipe it and then you pour in a conical flask and then you add sulfuric acid to, to induce acidic media. Then you add you add you add the sulfuric acid. You see in a beauty there is potassium permanganate. In our flask, there is oxalate and sulfuric acid, and now the next you titrate. You titrate this manganese with this. Under, under acidic media. So you have manganese, you have you titrate with the oxalate and then under acidic media. So those are procedure. So within this procedure, the reaction, there is a reaction. So we are going to see how to manipulate from this procedure to get the chemical reaction from half reaction to overall reaction okay after looking the procedure the permanganate is within a burette conical flask and sulfuric acid contain conical flask contains sulfuric acid and oxalic acid or oxalate so what is the reaction the half reaction means the acid is going to to create acidic medium in manganese for oxide. So we have we have half reaction. The first thing half reduction reaction. The half reduction reaction. There is manganese four oxide react under acidic media. We get manganese two plus water. You can balance when you look. The ions we have, we have ions, we have this means when you look, oxygen is the form. Then you can, when you balance, we put it, we put it four here. And the ions, here there is two, but here there is, and before ions, we, we balance the element. There is eight hydrogen, so here we put it, we put eight. When you balance ions, here there is seven, there is eight, here there is one ion. So you take eight, eight minus one will be seven. Here there is two ions. So we have there is a, a side to add electrons in order to balance. So the side to add is where there is a high oxidation state. We consider oxidation oxidation state. So we take manganese four plus eight plus eight hydrogen plus we add five here in order to 
balance is 2. Here there is 7. So when you add the electrons, 5 will be 2. Will be 7 minus 5 will be 2. So plus 5 electrons will actually be. That one is 4. That one is 2. Plus 4 water. When you look, there is eight minus six. The rest is two, and here there is two. So our reaction, first state reaction, has balance here. That is half reduction between manganese and acidity media. Then another for oxidation there is oxalate within a conical flask and they reacted with the permanganate. I think you have seen this one. Let's proceed with the half oxidation reaction. Half oxidation reaction. After permanganate with the acidic medium, we put the oxalate. There is this one. This one react with the there is two ions it's going to be the coefficient will be carbon dioxide. This give carbon dioxide. When you balance, it means here there is two ions. But this is not balanced. We put this one. And then we put ions. So oxygen is four, carbon is two, but ions are not really balanced. So we have to balance ions. So how to balance? You have to add two electrons. This is a half oxidation reaction. And the overall reaction. We have to, co to combine this oxidation and the half reduction reaction. So we proceed with the overall reaction between potassium permanganate or manganese for oxide with the oxalate. So the half reaction for reduction is this one. For oxidation, half reaction is this one. So Overall, we have to combine. So, what we consider here, we are going to look this one and this. So, this will come to this area, and this one will be here. So, we put, we go to here, and the five will be here. So, we are going to multiply. Before when you multiply this one will be 10 and this one will be 10 so this will cancel you can cancel automatically so overall reaction is will be 2 then plus 16 h plus because this is cancelled with this one because so this is 10 and this is 10. So plus this one, 5 uh -huh. the product will be this one 2 plus this one 10 carbon dioxide plus this is also cancelled will be will be eight eighty eighty water so this is over all this is over all reaction between permanganate and the oxalate
the Mona Nation here is two, here is five. This is one, and this is one. So that is the first reaction for redox reaction between permanganate and oxalate. There is a questions, some questions appear for this experiment. When permanganate reacts with the oxalate, the reason of action of heat up to 70 Celsius degree. The, the, the question comes, why we heat? It means oxalate heated with sulfuric acid. The reason here is because the reaction takes place in higher with higher temperature, in higher temperature. When you use the room temperature, the reaction will be slow. So that's why we heat. And the end product for any color change will be pink because potassium permanganate is itself indicator. So there is no need of using another indicator. Another question you can be asked me why the color comes pink? Because violet on the beauty there is potassium there is potassium permanganate and in conical flask there is oxalate. So the end color change is pink. Why is pink? Because in order to see the pink color, it means there is excess excess manganese four oxide excess. That's the why it is pink. So if you add at least two drops, you see the color is appeared or pink color observed. That is due to the excess, excess potassium permanganate or manganese for oxide. Another question, why we use sulfuric acid instead of alcoholic acid? And the nitric acid because nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent so it oxidizes the compound itself so it can disturb the reaction and the hydrochloric acid there is a product that is reactive with potassium permanganate so when it reacts with potassium permanganate there was Potassium chloride, with chloride is oxidizing agent, and the sulfuric and the hydrochloric acid is volatile. So that's why we use sulfuric acid. Other can disturb reaction. So for this experiment, for this reaction, I think you have understand this. For the coming lesson, I will show. I will show you the reaction between potassium permanganate and the oxal and the theosulfate and the repellated iodine from potassium iodide. If you have a comment, you need a questions, what you need to add in through this one, you can give through a comment. Give advice to be in a good, more understanding. Remember to subscribe, share this lesson to others. Thank you for learning.